Welcome to Bring Back the Farm. Today I am juicing apples. So this is my juice press. Kind of give you an idea of what it is. These are just 4x4x8 four by four by pressure treated posts. And I put my car jack on it. And I have the bolts. I bolted it all in. And uh, this piece comes over here and uh, smashes the apples. This is my bucket of apples. This is a four gallon bucket. And this bucket will give me one gallon of juice. All right guys, what I do with this, this four gallon bucket of apples is I take the apples, I put them in my food processor because I don't have a better way to, to uh, mash up the, the apples. So as you can see, I have this pulp, this apple pulp here contains all the juice. I will take this pulp and I will put it in this bucket. Now that I have all this apple mush, I'm going to go ahead and put it into my press right here and we will start pressing it. So I just put the, uh, the apple pulp into the bucket and I'm already starting to get juice coming out. That's how awesome this works. And I'm really happy that I'm pressing this this juice. Let me spread this out a little bit. We'll wrap it up. There we go. Alright, check this out. This is this is when it gets really cool. Start applying pressure there and just push this through. Look at that. Brown gold. Look at that. It's getting a little full. I have a few holes on the bottom of my bucket. Look at that. Just coming out. All that apple juice. as I add pressure. It's just a normal car jack. Let's see if I can do it this way. With a closer look at my bucket, I put zip ties to try to maintain some structural strength to the bucket because of all the holes that I have in the bucket. I'm glad I did that. I haven't tried it without it, but then again, I don't, I'd don't. i rather be safe than sorry. You know, I don't want to lose or risk losing some, some apple juice just because I'm testing to see if I need zip ties or not. Zip ties were cheap and it was worth it to me. This pan was a couple bucks, just a lasagna dish, disposable. This bucket was free. The zip ties were, you know, a few, a few pennies. The car jack came with my car. The bolts cost me about a buck a piece. Those are half, half inch bolts. And the wood, the wood cost me about I don't know, 40 bucks in total. Alright, after you press it once and you uh, get all the juice out that you think you can, then what I like to do is I like to remove the pressure off of the press. I'll just kind of turn this 
back around, I'll remove the pressure, and then what I'll do is I will take my pulp from within the bucket and I'll turn it over on its side and I'll go ahead and press it one, one more time. That way I know that I got most all of the juice. I turned it over on its side. This is already starting to feel pretty dry. Uh, it's cold. It's not it's not super moist, but it does still have some moisture in it. So I turned over on its side. I'm going to go ahead and put the block back over it, and I'm going to start pressing. And Here it comes. There we go. Look at all that juice. There it goes. So I'll go ahead and let it sit for a while, empty it out into my bucket, and then I'll uh, strain it and put it in my bottles, and then I will freeze it. Now we're going to fill each bottle with the apple juice before we freeze it. These are used bottles that we've been collecting over the years and it works as a great container for the apple juice. Alright guys, so this is the juice that I got right there. Got one gallon of juice from that uh, those apples that I showed you. And I'm going to go ahead and do it again, but I just wanted to show you the finished product. I'm going to go go ahead and put these in my freezer for storage, but this is Bring Back the Farm reminding you, you guys can do it. Just try to figure it out, do it yourself. It's easy. Apples, you know, getting apple juice from apples is easy, it's simple. Uh, my kids enjoy doing it with me, and it is really rewarding. So just give it a try, and just build yourself an apple press. Thanks for watching. Bye.